Our next report will be the Treasurer's, re Treasurer's Report by Trent Taylor. Trent joined AQHA 17 years ago as AQHA's Director of Accounting. And five years ago, Trent assumed the position of Treasurer. He also serves as Executive Director of Operations, overseeing approximately 135 AQHA employees. These include accounting and finance, human resources, registration, customer satisfaction, operations and distributions, record management, and most recently, information technology. Trent's a graduate of West Texas A&M with a BBA in accounting. He's also a certified public accountant. And most importantly, Trent and his wife Katrina have four children and are active in the horse industry, which stems from a passion Trent has had since he purchased his first horse more than 30 years ago. Please join me in welcoming AQHA Treasurer, Mr. Trent Taylor. Good morning. What a powerful morning. One of my responsibilities is to flow financial information to you, the members, as well as knowledge and understanding of the financial processes of AQHA. The entire consolidated financial statements are included in the annual report on the website, as well as the individual audited financial statements. In addition, the directors receive quarterly financial statements to keep them informed on the financial status of AQHA so that they will have the information to pass along to you, the members. Again this year, the Finance Committee will have an open meeting beginning at 1.30 on Sunday to share additional information about our investments and a more detailed look at our financials. Please keep in mind that in order to be in compliance with generally accepted accounting principles, or GAAP, our audited financial statements must be a consolidation of the association, the foundation, the incentive fund, and the racing challenge, even though we account for all of these as separate companies. McGladry and Pullen completed their third year as our audit firm, and I'm pleased to say we had a successful audit as represented by this clean opinion. The audit was presented to your audit committee, which is made up of the executive committee and the finance committee. The auditors found no deficiencies or weaknesses in our internal control structure and no adjustments were made to those financials as a result of the audit. Let's begin with a look at the consolidated statement of position. The total consolidated assets are 93 million compared to the 103 million last year. The largest change from the previous year is the decrease in long-term investments of just over 12 million, which is a combination of withdrawals for operating capital and a sharp decrease in the investment markets which we will discuss more a little bit later. One of the biggest areas of our financial position is our investments. AQHA began working with Monroe Voss Consulting Group 11 years ago. Tim Voss is the Vice Chairman and Director of Research for Monroe Voss and our representative. He will be making a presentation at the Finance Committee on Sunday. As shown on this chart, the total investments of $62 million under his supervision is broken down to these funds as of September 30th, 2011, with the amounts for the foundation broken down further by fund. AQHA represents just over 50%, the various funds of the foundation 31.9%, the incentive fund 11.4%, and the Bank of America Racing Challenge at 6.5%. To break down the consolidated assets, we see the association is at 44 million, the foundation at 36.6 million, the incentive fund at 8 million, and the racing challenge at 4.3 million. The liabilities were down over a million dollars to $41,137,451. And if we subtract the total liabilities, which includes the deferred revenue of all the incentive fund and racing challenge funds to be paid out in future years, this leaves the consolidated net asset balance of $51,959,429. The temporarily and permanently restricted net assets all relate to the Foundation's donor-restricted contributions. To break down the unrestricted net assets by entity, 
we can see AQHA makes up 16 million of that number and the foundation 35.9 million. This is the number that if you were running a company would be the equity that you hold in your business. Next, let's look at the consolidated statement of activities. Total revenues decreased from 51.8 million to 49.9 million, representing a 3.7% decrease. Not good news, but expected considering the economic downturn over the past several years. AQHA is fortunate to have multiple sources of revenue. As you can see from the pie chart, no one source is predominant. Membership income represents 16% of our total income. Sponsorship income continues to hold at 14% and registration income at 10%. And to break these numbers down further, most income areas were down or comparable to the previous year. Incentive fund and racing challenge Challenge income is the total amount paid out for these programs during the year. We will see these amounts also included on the expense side. The investment income amount shown here is the portion designated for operations. This is the amount of the investment balances that are being used to continue providing member services and funding programs without increasing fees. We will see the total investment income in a moment. The operating expenses increased 1.6% to $51,029,361. We continue to look at ways to reduce expense and to maintain the level of customer service our members have come to expect. Much of the increase was in employee expense as we added back employees to increase that level of customer service and to reinvest in key areas with new programs to try to stimulate the industry. The pie chart shows the breakdown of expenses by program area. We are required from generally accepted accounting principles to report expenses based on these program areas. These are the areas we've identified. The program areas include multiple departments and services that we provide to our members. This brings us to a decrease in net assets from operations of just over $1.1 million combined with the losses from other activities of just over $9 million, gives us a decrease in unrestricted net assets of $10,220,740. Please keep in mind these are the financials as of September 30th, 2011. And I'm sure you've all heard the saying that timing is everything. Well, this is a chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. While our investments are diversified, this is a reflection of the timing of our year end. Had our year end been on May 3rd, the high point for the market last year, or even today with the Dow just below 13,000, it would have painted a different financial picture rather than the lows experienced on September 30th. The temporarily and permanently restricted net assets all relate to the foundation's donor restricted contributions. The total decrease in unrestricted net assets plus the temporarily restricted income decrease of 345,000 and the 1.1 million increase in permanently restricted brings us to a consolidated net asset of 51,959,429. The consolidated statement of cash flows reflects an overall decrease in cash flow of 737,586. In summary, the financial condition of the association remains on solid ground as we are mindful of the past, respect the current environment, and look to the future. Thank you for taking a closer look at the financial aspects of your organization and allowing me to serve as your treasurer. I wish us all a successful 2012. Thank you, and remember, it's all about the ride.